we will take, we don't, we'll try and keep the questions short. We probably have time for one, maybe two more questions. Yes, I want to get your, uh, all of your uh, thoughts on the uh, housing casino we had in town. If, if you were to turn the clock back 10 years, how would you see, how, how should things have been done differently to prevent the present situation? You could talk about the three levels of government. <laughs> In terms of housing? <clears throat> well, it would have been hard because uh, the Harper government uh, at the time had an ideological uh, aversion to government involvement in housing, nonprofit housing. Leave it to the market, the private sector would take care of it. And the reality is that's, that's 80% right, but it's 20% wrong that you do need some form of government involvement. Uh, I remember going through these uh, meetings with the development community and, and uh, uh, they'd say, well, you gotta get rid of these subsidized housing programs, but let us build the housing. Oh, by the way, we need incentives. <laughs> <laughs> because people's income are too low for the rents that we have to charge to make it viable, right? So I said, well, you're asking for tax dollars with a different name. And I don't disagree with you. I mean, I think we should, Instead of uh, rental housing uh, with an accelerated capital cost allowance, limited dividends, some of the old programs we had at CMHC when it was a decent organization, now it's a shell of its former self, uh, that, that you can do to, to, to facilitate the provision of affordable rental housing. Uh, so I, I, I think we, we need to bring some of those programs back. And, and frankly, I set a target 10,000 units of nonprofit co-op housing uh, and uh, uh, you know 3,000 nonprofit co-op in the region, 3,000 uh, private sector with rent supplements and 4,000 uh, starter homes for young families, which we've done in the past. You know, the assisted home ownership program. Uh, my dad, when he came out of the Navy, you know, the, the housing for vets, uh, that's how we got our first house. And, and so there, there are experiences we've had as Canadians to provide affordable housing. And I think the scale is 10,000 units of nonprofit co-op, of uh, private sector rental, and starter homes for young families uh, for a decade. We may start to break the back of the affordability issue. And, and if I had my brothers, I'd get rid of single family zoning throughout the region. Mm -hmm. <laughs>